Let's stand up and praise and worship and sing to him. Let's worship.
sounded so good. God loves us and he gave us his only son, Jesus. And all month long, we've been celebrating Easter and how Jesus is alive. Well, guess what? I have one more super exciting story, true story from the Bible to tell you. But first, let's pretend to be flowers. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I start off really small. I'm a tiny little seed. Crouch down really small. My leaves start to open when I get the love I need. Start to rise up just a little bit and start to spread out your arms. Up. Sun and rain help me bloom and grow. Stand up tall and stretch your arms out wide. Jesus loves me, this I know. Great job, let's do it again. Okay. I start off really small. I'm a tiny little seed, I'm really small. My leaves start to open when I get the love I need. Rise up just a little bit and start to spread your arms. Sun and rain help me bloom and grow. Stand up tall and stretch your arms out wide. Jesus loves me, this I know. Great job, you guys. It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. My friends and I planted flowers in our flower pots and have been waiting and waiting for them to bloom. I think today's the day, but I'm afraid to look and see. Maybe there are so many flowers that I won't even be able to walk in the clubhouse. That might be too many flowers. Maybe the flowers have grown so big and tall that they're hitting the top of the clubhouse. That might be too tall for a flower. <sighs> okay, here I go, it's time to look. Do you wanna look with me? Cover your eyes and count to three with me. Go ahead, cover your eyes. Now let's count to three. One, two, three. Wow, oh wow, they bloomed and they're perfect. Not too many and not too tall, they're just right. These are absolutely perfect. Do you know why? My grandma has a spot on her windowsill that will be just right for these flowers. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What beautiful flowers. I love that blue. I'm going to give them to my grandma and I have breakfast at her house. What a wonderful breakfast for you. I know about another special breakfast, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through, hoo. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> okay, guys, great walk today. Now it's time for breakfast. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. <laughs> You guys say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Barkley and Goldie. We've been out on a long walk today, and everyone is hungry. Do you like breakfast? <laughs> Me too. Do you like to eat waffles? Do you like cereal? Do you like fish? Some people have fish for breakfast, just like the people in today's true story from the Bible. Today, we're going to talk about what happened after Easter. Easter started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No, he came back just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Well, not long after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing when all of a sudden, they saw Jesus standing on the beach. Jesus is alive. They were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. Ready? 
<laughs> yes, the disciples were so excited. And Jesus told his friends to come and have breakfast with them right there on the beach. They were so happy to be with their good friend Jesus again. And they knew that he loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too forever and ever. How awesome is that? Jesus is alive and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus is alive, and he wants to be your friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus came back just like he said he would. Then he had breakfast with his friends and told them he wants to be their friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't wait to give my flowers to my grandma at breakfast. I can tell her that Jesus is alive and that he ate breakfast with his friends too. Ooh, I hope grandma's gonna make pancakes and bacon, yum! In today's story, Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to meet him on the mountain. Jesus told the disciples he had an important job for them to do. And it's an important job he wants us to do too. Jesus said, our important job is to tell everyone, everywhere, that he is alive and we can follow him. Who is alive? Jesus is alive! Go tell your friends Jesus is alive at the park. Jesus is alive at the park! I can follow Jesus when I'm at the grocery store. Jesus is alive! You can tell your friends that Jesus is alive at the dentist office. Jesus is alive! I can tell people about Jesus when I'm at the library. Jesus is alive! Hi boys and girls, stand up. Do your Bible verse with me. It goes like this. I'm alive Hi. forever Hi. and Hi. ever. Hi. Revelations 1.18. Let's do it again. I'm alive Hi. forever. Hi. And ever! Revelations 1.18. Good job, boys and girls. I'm alive! Ever, ever, ever. Revelation 1.18. is alive! It's time to pray, boys and girls. Hands up high, hands down low. Hold them just like so. God is good, God is great. Let us thank him. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for this time that we've had together. Lord, I ask that you just bless each and every one of my friends. Keep them safe. Bring their hearts full of joy. Lord Jesus, just that they remember that you're alive. Jesus, you're alive. In your holy name, amen. In our Bible story today, we heard about a very important job that Jesus gave to all his friends. Do you remember what that special job is? Yes, Jesus told his friends to go and tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is alive. We can do the most important job. We can tell everyone that Jesus is alive. That's right, friends. Jesus is alive. That's so exciting. Bye, friends. Oh, oh, oh.